Hello everyone! In this video, we are going to address two of the biggest questions we have about country swing. Now, country swing can also be referred to as cowboy swing, rodeo swing, there's several different names to it. But the two basic questions we have is, what exactly is the footwork and what is the rhythm or the count? And because country or rodeo or cowboy swing is very adjusted, uh, there's a lot of variations that go on, and so sometimes it's hard to pick out what the actual vanilla and strict tempo and footwork is. I will tell you that back when country swing was evolving or developing, that the music um, was a lot more rapid and we didn't have our hold in there. So rather than doing a one, two, three, hold, four, or a rock, step, hold, we actually did a rock, step, step, rock, step, step. It was quite rapid, it was quite fast. But as the music has evolved and the dance has also evolved, uh, we have put in a hold in order to give both the leader and the follower a chance to breathe and also some more musicality to come out. So we're going to go ahead and bring Shane into the picture here and we're going to demonstrate some of the basic footwork, basic timing, and basic connection to get you guys going. So leaders will prepare with the left foot free, followers will prepare with the right foot free, and we're going to do what's called a ball change or a rock step which means as we put that foot back, we're only gonna put the weight on the ball, so only partial weight transfer, and then we're gonna replace back again forward. So it's gonna be a rock, step, step, or replacement. Now, other foot is free, so uh, leaders right and follows left. Rock, step, replace, rock, step, replace, rock, step with numbers, one, two, three, hold four, one, two, three, hold four, one, two, three, hold four, one, two, three, hold four. So this is a really great drill in order to get your basic footwork and rhythm. Did you want to say something? Yeah, well, let's do it from this angle so they can see it a little bit better. And one, step, two, three, four. One, step. two, three, four. One, step. two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then other direction. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna practice passing on the gentleman's right side. So with the same foot, leaders left and followers right. We're gonna do a rock step, and as we replace, we're actually gonna push and pass one another, and basically take the other person's space. One eighty degree flip. Then with the leaders right and the followers left, we'll rock step and step back into the place we began. So do rock step pass. Rock step, pass, rock step, pass, good. Now we'll switch to the other side so you can see. We'll do it with numbers. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, hold four. And actually let's do this from this perspective. Good, yeah. Rock step, pass, rock step with numbers. Rock step, pass. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, hold four. Yeah. There's a couple of things I'd like to say. Like if you were to go on online on YouTube and have a look, you would see that it's all about the patterns, this dance. The and tricks. The yeah, the tricks and everything. It's a really, really fun so dance and it goes man, 100 mile an hour. So you're going to find that that hold is going to become a very dominant part of the dance, especially for the leader, because we're going to be needed to be very grounded when we do a lot of our moves or our tricks. I'm glad you started talking about that because I'd like to segue into a couple different techniques that we use to keep you grounded, but also give you a chance to swivel a lot more. So we're going to stop on the knees. We're very rarely we're going to have both legs straight at the same time. And <laughs> why do we do that? Just like all the athletes do, we're going to pitch our head and shoulders over the balls of the feet. It allows the pressure to release from the heels and almost like you're doing a twist, you can pivot on the balls of the feet. We're not going to fully hinge and get those heels really high off the floor. Just enough to where our body weight is in the balls of the feet and we can swivel. So double knee bend and soften those knees and also swivel towards the ball of the feet. Now, as in most partner dances, we use a connection called compression and opposition. So if we were simply to have our feet underneath ourselves and we let our bodies fall in toward each other, that's comp uh, compression. And then when we let our bodies fall away from each other, it's opposition. We like to do this with our core or the belt buckles toward and away, rather than our head, which would be the wrong way, head and shoulders going back, head and shoulders going forward. Because we could go. <laughs> it also becomes very weighty, like heaviness, and we don't want to pull in our partner that way. Yes, yeah, so it'll create a lot of pulling and you want to avoid that. So if we stick with our belt buckles going in together, out together, in together, out together, that gives us a nice compression and opposition. 
So if we prepare the leader's left foot and the follower's right foot to do our basic or push break, we do rock, step, replace, rock, step, compress, opposition, compress, opposition, compress. We'll do it this way. And rock, step, replace, rock, step with numbers, one, two, three, hold four, one, two, three, hold four. Try it the other way. <laughs> one, two, three, hold four, one, two, compress. Um, just a couple of quick things. This is a great way to learn to get connection, learn to get timing and rhythm so you can start counting the music. Start off with slower music first and build into the faster stuff once you get your technique and your connection down. Yeah, now that we're on the side, it's a great chance to show you how we can drop one hand and do those passes across the gentleman's right side. So I'm going to start, we'll do it diagonally. We will actually. do it diagonally. So we'll start our two hands going rock, step, see how Shane releases the right foot, or excuse me, the right hand. <laughs> and so then we are ready to do the other foot. He can do it off of either side of his body, both hands, yes, or one hand. So what Shane's going to do is he's going to release the right hand, and I'm going to pass them on the right side. So we're going to go rock, step, pass, rock, step, retrace your step. So as the leader lifts his left hand, she's going to go under one way and then retrace her steps back the other way. So yeah, so going she's down. going down the same side when we lead her. So that time it was a lady's under on the right side, going to and coming same back. shot, that again. So we'll just square off and we go. Rock, step, pass, rock, step, pass. And I let gravity let that hand fall down. We'll do it this direction. Rock, step, pass, rock, step, pass, rock, step, pass, rock, step, pass. One of the good things that Shane just added in there, and you probably noticed me doing, is we don't let the arms dangle. We actually keep them up and at the ready. So while we're doing that passing step, we can have fun once we've learned and felt comfortable with the leader's left and the follower's right doing the side pass, is the gentleman can offer the other hand. So what she just did is as I was passing underneath, his right hand caught me on the shoulder blade and traced down to my left hand. So we'll show that from the other direction. Rock step, his hand is ready. He traces, doesn't grab me because I would stop in other words, but he traces down that hand, which means now we can work that drill just off of that hand. We can work that drill off of the leader's right and the follower's left. And what Shane was about to demonstrate is he can offer one hand and pick up the other as many times as he wants. And this is a really great technique to drill. The other way we can do it is the free spin, which so Shane just started going into. So this is cross-handed, so we would be in a handshake position. So if Shane would start out in the basic push break, he would let go of his right hand Go back, because we're going to do the handshake, since you don't know the handshake. He's going to let go of the right hand, and he's going to ask for a handshake. Then, from that position, he's going to go ahead and deal a deck of cards. He deals a card to his right, he deals a card to his left. So we work off the right handshake and the opposite to handshake. So not only will these basics help you get your country swing on the dance floor, but it'll also help you get used to leading off both sides of the body and for the followers, leading off both sides of, or yeah. following off both sides of her body. Do we want to just do that long way I would love before. to do that. So we're in the basic. Shane switches hands into a handshake position, and then he deals one card with his right hand and one card with his left hand. So it really is his whole body with the rock step and that hand following through to deal the card that gets me to move. If you were to try to just do it with arms, it would feel a little yanky and cranky. So keep up your good work on your footwork and your connection and your lead and follow technique and have fun with the next video.